This is my wedding dress. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a Abercrombie Fitch dress. And it's just... But it's very close to my actual wedding dress. So... Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna be a future bride. Oh, right here. I'm gonna be a bride. All right, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. In my channel, I do a lot of makeup videos, cooking videos, vlog videos, and everything I'm passionate about in my life. If these content interests you, please, please subscribe to my channel. All right, so today we're gonna get ready together to achieve this potential look uh, for my actual wedding day. So my wedding is in about a month. I'm, I'm starting to try different products to achieve different bridal look. If you are curious about what products that I use to achieve this look, or if you are a future bride and if you are trying different bridal makeover, and if you're curious about how to achieve this look, please continue watching. Are you ready? Let's get started. So right now, I don't have any makeup on. As you can see, my face is very inflamed. I have a lot of acne marks right here, right here, right here. So um, foundation is definitely the most important step for my face. So before I put my foundation, I'm using this Smashbox primer. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores primer, and it actually has a very light color has a very light tint. Okay. Usually during um usually in everyday life I don't use pore minimizing primer because I don't want to clog my my pores, but because this is the my biggest day, wedding day. It's like the most important day of your life. Actually, the most important day of your life is when you have babies because that one is actually very dangerous. You know, any complications may happen, but <laughs> but this is definitely a very, very important day. So I'm super nervous about walking down that aisle because I feel like I'm going to trip on my dress and fall. As you can see, this primer actually corrected a lot of texture of my face. <clears throat> And now my face is very smooth. It's very smooth after you put on this primer. All right, primer is done. Now we're gonna move on to foundation. So for my foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And this is a medium to full coverage. It is oil free. And I'm using the color of Nude. Oh, oh. But you can see the back of my arm is still very tan. So, oh. I'm trying to put a dress that's like very similar to my wedding dress so that I can see what I look like. So as you can see, like, I'm actually very light colored, but I actually got a tan from the summer. So <laughs> I just wanna, I just wanna be able to match my own color. Put a foundation here as you can see the foundation is a little bit liquidy it's very very easy to blend you can push it in anywhere i've been using this foundation for a month it definitely stays it's very long lasting i highly 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 recommend this foundation and we're gonna use a makeup brush and we're gonna this is a makeup brush from Real Techniques. We're gonna dab a little bit of the foundation. And instead of like doing this, do not brush your face, but try to lightly dab the foundation on your face. And another thing is don't put foundation directly on your face because you might end up putting too much. Put it on your hand first and then do this. Okay, so we're gonna dab, dab, dab. See? you might actually not need a lot of concealer. I'm actually super nervous about my wedding because not only do I not have time to plan it because I'm actually doing my dissertation at this moment. I am a PhD student. This is my last year. And um, I am collecting data, doing analysis, and write it up this semester. And I'm also taking two additional classes that I actually didn't need. But I am taking those two classes so in the future I can, te I can teach literacy courses at, at the graduate level. 
so I'm taking classes, I'm doing my dissertation hours, I'm trying to publish two papers this semester, actually three, but they're going really slow. And me and another professor were thinking about doing another project, but right now I just don't have a lot of time because I have this wedding to plan. And um, thank you so much for offering your help. I just need to know what are the things I need help with. <laughs> uh, I've only been to a wedding in, to, in my entire life, so I actually don't know what I actually need. Okay, so I think my foundation is basically done. So now we're gonna do the concealer. As you can see, I still have some acne marks that I, it's not perfectly covered, so I do need to use concealer. Concealer, I'm using Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and it actually has multiple functions. You can use it as concealer, you can use it to contour, highlight, retouch. So what you do is you, just like your foundation, you use the you put the concealer on your hand first and use a concealer brush. So this way you're not putting too much. Okay. And another thing I learned is really interesting, but do my eyebrows first and then use the concealer to highlight my brow bone. So today we're gonna do the same. So before I put on, um, before I blend my concealer, I'll be using the Innisfree Brow Master Pencil. And this is the color of blah, four. So this is the gray four. You can definitely get it from Amazon. I'll link, I'll put the link down below. Ooh, interesting. And then on one side, you have the eyebrow pencil. And then on the other side, you have the little brush. And I think there is another size. You actually have this applicator. So the makeup artist told me you need to brush your brows even before you put anything on. That's something I didn't know because you want to make sure your brow hair is going to the same directions. Okay, I'm gonna be doing my brows. Okay, is it too much? I don't know. But then I'll be using this side. This side to smudge them. Actually, I don't really worry too much about my brow on my wedding day because my best friend from China is gonna be here and she is great with eyebrows. And then we're gonna use the brush side to to brush my eyebrows one more time and then we're gonna use the concealer brush to put some concealer along my eyebrows okay so then we're gonna make, use another brush a softer brush and then I'm gonna we're gonna land the concealer in Again, dab, don't brush. And also she said, when you do your foundation, you want your brush to be a little bit harder versus when you do the concealer, you want your brush to be very soft. You don't want to destroy the effect of concealing. So you want it to be soft. And look how different they are. Like this is before it's soaked. This, this is the size. And this is when it's completely soaked. See how big this thing turned into? Can you believe it? So finally I got the right way, finally. So now it's soaked into the water and I just use a paper towel to get the excessive water out. Just see how it's super soft compared to the regular one. And we're gonna use the Beauty Blender to dab my face. use the Sephora foundation powder. It's matte perfection powder foundation. And this is the color 18, gold linen. Okay. Just gonna lightly press the powder into my face. Actually, the Sephora brand has a lot of nice product. 
that definitely worth more attention. What do you guys think? Okay, now we're gonna use the setting powder to bake, 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 bake. This is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier setting powder and it is translucent setting powder. So we're gonna use this one to bake. I really, I actually really, really like it. See? It's very thin, the powder is very thin, very blendable. And she said the longest, the longer you bake, the better. So while we're baking, we're gonna work on my eyes, I guess. Yeah, my eyes. I guess today we're gonna try using the peach palette from Too Faced. I feel like this is like a Too Faced themed getting ready with me because I'm using so much product from them, but I love it. I love their products. Okay, so <sighs> first we'll be using this color to put a base layer of color. This is the color of peach and cream. And the makeup artist said, again, don't brush, but dab. You wanna dab your, make your eyeshadows in. Okay, dab, dab, dab. Base layer is on. And then we're gonna use the color Georgia. This one. <clears throat> right here. It's a very nice pinky nude color. Okay, and then we'll be using the color of this one, Luscious. And then we'll be using the color Meow Meow Meow. Okay, this is the color Caramelized. It's this one. We're gonna use the color Nectar. Ah! Nectar. Go right here from here. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna use the color of Bellini. It's like a pinky, a pinky color right here. So now we're gonna go in with the white peach. Highlight my brow bone with it. And put it on the corner. Use nectar to blend it in. So now we're gonna change to a smaller brush. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, to contour my eyelids right here. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with Tempting, a dark color. Put it on the tip a little bit and put it right here. On the corner, outside corner of my eyes. So now we're gonna get rid of the baking. Alright, so my All right, so now we're gonna go in with the liquid eyeshadow from Stigla. Stigla, see how pretty this is? This is the color of Ballet Baby. Okay. It's very, very pretty. This is what it looks like. I love it. Oh wow, so pretty. What do you guys think? 
I absolutely love this one. Okay, so now we're gonna do my face. So I bought this Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. You need to do the contour before you do the blush or um, the highlighter. So because then you need to contour to really sculpture your face before you do anything. Do like this. So do not, do not do this because you're gonna end up putting too much. You want to use a brush. You wanna also contour your hairline, but because my hairline is very low, so you don't need to, I don't need to put too much. Use the beauty blender. You want to use the, the little tip. Actually, I'm gonna use this tip. Then contour my nose. Okay, and then you want to use the beauty blender to dab everything to blend in the contour because you don't want to move the products. You want to press them in, press, press, press them in. Okay, okay. What do you guys think? So for my blush, I think I'll be using the Chanel Travel Palette. I'll be using this very, very pretty pink as my blush. Again, you'll want to dab. Dab it on. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so the blush is on. Now we're gonna use the highlighter. Okay, I'll be using the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is the color of, I can't pronounce, Opulence. 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 Hey, whoa, how pretty, how pretty. Okay, and it's very moist. It's very creamy. It's not like very powdery, look. And it's very subtle. Again, you want to dab. You don't want to move your products on your face. So you go dab, 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 dab. Again, you want to highlight your brow bones. Now highlight your shoulder a little bit so that you look glamorous. Glamorous. As you can see, the highlighters are definitely there, but they're very subtle. You have to look really close to, to really see the metallic shine. All right, so keep going, keep going, not done yet. As you know, bridal makeup takes forever. And then we're gonna use the Sephora Crayon Contour 12 Hour Contour Eye Pencil. Pencil contour eye pencil for 12 hours. So this is a it claims to be a long-lasting 12-hour contour eye pencil Such a long name. So as far as we're gonna contour right here okay. And then I want to contour the inside water What do you guys think? Okay, okay, eyes are contoured. So now we're gonna do eyeliner. We're gonna fill the eyes right here. I'm gonna fill the waterline right here. So I'm using the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. Okay, and then we'll be using the false lashes. I'll be back. For the false lashes, I'll be using the false lashes I got from the drugstore. This is from the Kiss brand. And this is the True Volume. Okay, and for the glue, I'm using the one from Dual. And it comes with a little brush. And I like the one with the little brush. It's like right here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting so nervous because I don't know if I can do it on the camera. I can do it. I can do it. Have you seen that old poster? Like, 
I can do it. Never mind. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going for a little bit of the dramatic look and we're going to do the right one first. So first what we're going to do is that we're going to put a glue on. Okay, we're going to let it dry a little bit. So this is a clear glue. Okay. Ooh. It's definitely dramatic. <laughs> okay, this one is on. Now we're going to work on the left one. Need a mirror. Okay. What do you guys think of the lashes? Did it work? Did it not work? Please let me know because there are other shapes of lashes that I may want to try on. So it has a dramatic wing look. Okay. Let me know what you think. All right, so keep going. We're gonna put the liner. Okay, so for the eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner. So I'm just gonna line my eye with the lashes. Okay, so then I'm gonna use the under eyeliner. And this is actually the color of gray. Eyes are done, so now we're gonna move on to my lips. We're gonna try the Bare Mineral um, Jan Nude Matte Lip Color first. And this is the color of Infamous. And it's a very, very light nude pink. It smells so good. It smells like ice cream. Oh, I forgot to line my lip. Oh, duh. So I'm gonna line my lip. This is the lip liner from NYX and it's a pink color that I think it's gonna work. Okay, now I'm gonna go in again with the Bare Minerals matte lip color. This is the color of Infamous. Should I put another layer or should, do you think this is good? Should I put like a lip gloss? Mm, maybe this is good, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I put another layer of lip gloss or do you think it's good enough? I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Nude Lip Gloss. Okay. okay. Maybe I should try it on. What do you guys think? Okay, so the Estee Lauder lip gloss actually don't have a lot of the color. It's basically a sheer, um, a sheer layer of gloss itself. It just creates some shine. I think we're done. Actually, we're not. Go with Kiss Me then. Makeup done! What do you guys think? Okay, this is my engagement ring. Da, 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 da. All right, makeup is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below in terms of what I can do to improve my look for my wedding day or what do you recommend. Any suggestions will be very, very helpful. And also, I'll link all of the products I used for this look in the description box down below. Please check it out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please consider subscribe to my channel for future videos. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Wow. Should I have my hair up for my wedding day? Or should I have my hair down? What do you guys think? See you at my wedding!